Hi everyone, before I start today's video, I saw this. I bought this and it made me very, very happy. Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Plane Strains Everything and welcome to a very busy and very noisy Berlin Hauptbahnhof. I'm also a very happy man because I have a curry bratwurst in my stomach. Tonight I will be staying for the first time ever at a capsule hotel. It's called the Space Night Capsule Hostel. Now you may be wondering why a man of my age will be staying in a capsule hotel. Two reasons. Firstly, I've never been in one before. And secondly, prices this weekend in Berlin are completely nuts. Now I usually stay at the more economically priced hotels in the Alexanderplatz area and even there are 70, 80, 90 euros a night. Even this capsule hotel is 55 euros and you're in a box for the night. It's extortionate the prices at the moment in Berlin, but you have to stay somewhere. So we have to find our way to this hostel. Now it's about two, two and a half kilometers away and we're going to walk. Now I could catch the, the U-Bahn, but you have to change somewhere and by the time you find the nearest station, you've still got a, probably a 10 minute walk to the hostel. So you may as well walk from here. Are you ready? Let's go. This is one part of Berlin I've never been to before, but I'm sure we'll find this place. How hard can it be to find a capsule hotel? Hey, it's dark here, isn't it? All right, we're heading in the right direction. There's the Bundestag over there, the uh, German Federal Parliament building. And that was the landmark I was looking for, so yes. I reckon ETA, 20, 25 minutes. I should be tucked up nice and cozy in my capsule. In actual fact, the plan of action is to get organized and then have a shower because I really need to freshen up a bit. Yep, there is the Bundestag. To be honest, I expected that to be in darkness because of the, um, the power shortages. I thought they were switching off all unnecessary uh, lighting. But obviously their main building is still important enough to have lit up like the uh, Blackpool illuminations. I think I call this the Bundestag when it's actually the Reichstag, but you knew what I meant. Plenty of police cars, so I'm in um, safe company. Maybe they're following me, I don't know. amazing once you get away a block away from the touristy areas it's so quiet that was Unter den Linden and that was a busy place that's where you go if you want to have a good time someone just waved to me must have been a subscriber right we're on the, we're on the right road just going down here about three or four blocks and we're doing a left turn Well that's it. I was expecting a kind of a larger sign than just number 45. Although it does say little. So I'm either going to find this hotel or I'm going to an upstairs little.
This will do nicely. Well, here's a gated tour of the bathroom and the shower. One toilet, one bin, one rather large uh, wash hand basin, paper towels, and the shower, which I'm about to use. Looks pretty good, actually. My first reaction is this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Very clean, very organized, very modern especially this bathroom and the shower as well. I'm going to enjoy this, but not as much as this shower. I really need a shower, so I'll see you later on. So how did I enjoy my night at the Space Night Capsule Hostel? Surprisingly all right. Uh, it is a hostel, so you do get people coming in and out at all hours. And some people do make a bit of a racket, but apart from that, once I was asleep, that was me until 7am when the alarm went off. And I loved the lighting in there, it was so groovy. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along on this rather unusual stay. I may actually be back. It wouldn't be my first choice of places to stay, but uh, at 55 euros a night, when prices are going through the roof, I'll consider it again. See you next time.